Mama over birthed me, I had a crown. This is my destiny plaguing out. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Just Denise. It's me, Courtney Denise, and we are back with another video. In today's video, I am doing my little cousin some box braids, and I thought it would be a good idea to come on here and show you three different ways to attach box braids, since I get a lot of questions about that. But first, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. And let's get into this video. Now, I am starting off, of course, parting. I am very precise with my parting, so I make sure the parts are straight. Once you make sure the parts are straight, you want to take either a jam or a gel, whatever you may use to secure the ponytails. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> and secure the ponytails i do this all over her head first so the process will go quicker this style only takes about three hours now with my long nails as y'all will see it was kind of a struggle but <laughs> your girl can braid with anything okay okay but i must part the head off you will see that and then we will get into the three different techniques so i hope you all enjoy Now at the top, I did do triangle parting. If you watch my passion twist video, which I will link above as well as below, you will see I did the same kind of parting pattern in my daughter's hair. I do squares in the back and then I do triangles at the front. I just think it makes the style look cute. It makes it look girly. And sometimes we don't wanna perfect triangles all over the head. So this is a great alternative. You can barely tell the parting difference when the hair is actually done. So it just works out for me and I thought it was really cute and it adds a little touch. So don't come for me and be like, why you do squares in the back and triangles in the front? I don't know. I just think it looks cute and it always works out. Now, this is the entire head after I put in all the ponytails. That's why I love the rubber band method because it can go by so quick. Once again, you put in all the ponytails. It gives you your sections before and we get to get to braiding. So here I am preparing the hair for the braid. I split off a little piece of the hair and I cross it over. That creates the three strands, even three strands of the weave that you want. And you place the hair on top of the ponytail and you take her hair with one section of the weave and you braid down. Now, with attaching like this, the section that has her hair with it is too thick then you will need to borrow hair from that section and put it in another section so that your parts or your sections are even this is what creates a perfect braid and a braid that flows i'm sorry y'all somebody is blowing up my notifications let me turn it off but this is what makes the braid flow and i will show you this method a couple times before we get into the second method
All right, moving on to method two. So with method two, you are going to take your three strands of hair and you're gonna attach like so. Before continuing the braid, you're going to take some of her hair, maybe even some of the actual weave as well from that one section because you can clearly tell it's already gonna be too big. Split that off and then start braiding down. This just prepares all sections at the first attachment to be even while you're braiding down. And as you can see, I take my raggedy comb. Y'all, that's my favorite comb. Don't come for me in the comments about my comb, okay? But you then take a comb or a brush and you just smooth out her hair in the weave as you braid down. Again, that is another little tip or trick to make sure that your braid is smooth. <laughs> Look, I couldn't get it out. It's smooth and flows and it's just neat, okay? And then also, here's another little tip or trick. You add some gel or jam or product to the hair and or the weave. It allows for the braiding to be smoother, gentler on your fingers, as well as moisturizing and keeping the hair in place while you're braiding. Boom. Now, once again, I will show you this method, I believe a couple times, and then we will go into the third and final method. So just continue to watch. Okay, so let's get into the final method. With this method, you are gonna take product and put place it on the hair, comb that part out, and you're gonna separate and split that hair. When attaching the hair, you're gonna take one section and take a piece of her hair with it, and then with the other part of her split hair, you're gonna attach it to a different section. That means that two sections are going to have her natural two pieces of hair and that one does not. But with splitting like that, you know that all three strands for the most part will still be even. Now with any of these methods, at any point, if you feel any section is bigger than the other, you can borrow hair from the bigger section. Just make sure you do it gentle, make sure the weave and her hair is combed out so that you cannot tell in the braid when you actually do the borrowing of the hair. Now we are all done and we are going to dip the ends of her hair. Once I dip the ends of her hair, I just place her hair up into a high bun. I add accessories. I don't think I'm gonna do too much more commentary on this video because again, I was coming to show you those three different ways that you can start off box braids. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope this video was informative and helpful for someone. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment them down below. I try my best to answer comments or comment back to people right away. I believe I have never skipped anyone out. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns corrective criticism any of that I look forward to it all down in the comments if you have not subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe I would really appreciate it y'all they, they just won't stop when I'm talking <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it and share this video with your family and friends okay thank you all again for the support I love that you all choose to watch my videos and don't make this the last video okay go ahead and subscribe and also hit the next video so that you won't miss me or any information that I give out I love you all thank you so much and have a blessed day